What's going on everybody? This is your man T Bell coming with another video, of course. This video is inspired because uh somebody I know, Miss Brittany, she posted this on Facebook this morning. It was talking about, I can't remember what it says. I'm gonna post it in the video. But it basically was saying, why don't marriages today last long like your grandparents and all them old folks back in the day? How they marriages used to last 30, 40, 50 years. And I got a few thoughts. The first thing I just want to clarify that is divorce is an option. Clearly, because the divorce rate is high. So when people say that, it's cute, but you can stop saying it because divorce is an option. The, the thing is, if you let it happen, that's on you. But don't just say it like you got a choice to just turn it on, turn it off. You choose whether you want a divorce or not in your marriage. You choose whether you want to work it out or not in your marriage. So let's just stop saying divorce is not an option because if it wasn't, then the divorce rate wouldn't be so high. But anyway, that's not my point. First thing is, the first thing that I thought of was our generation, millennials especially, when it comes to marriage, we are used to stuff being easy and stuff being handed to us. What do you mean, T-Bell? I'm talking about we are so used to stuff being given to us that when we get in marriage and given to us and being life being easy, when we get in, we like the idea of marriage. We want to have these big extravagant weddings and then you be so focused on the wedding. Then you sitting at home one day like, I'm married. And then you find out, I'm not happy because you were so focused on the wedding that you didn't get prepared for the marriage. Uh, my aunt, my auntie Renee, she told my wife something. She said, okay, you done did all this celebrating. You done, ce you done had all your fun. Now it's time um, to put on your glasses, put on your gloves. It's time to go to work. Marriage is work. Marriage ain't easy. You find out who you really are when you get married. You find out how selfish you are. You find out how considerate you can be. You find out how thoughtful you are. Marriage brings out the best. It brings out. It can bring out the worst in people, but it helps you define who you really are. It helps you see who you really are. Another thing is... For our generation, when I say it's, we used to things being given to us, we used to marriage and I mean things just being easy. Just imagine, if you get on a job, you don't like that job, what do you do? Quit, go to the next job. Oh, I don't like this job either, two weeks later you quit. We just so busy being in and out of stuff, we just used to being able to up and go. That's not how marriage is supposed to be. Marriage is supposed to be to death do we part. Not just, oh, I'm not feeling this person no more. Oh, uh, they made me mad. So I think it's not a relationship. It's a marriage. Stop thinking you can just get in and get out. Let me tell y'all folks that be talking about, oh, I want to find my husband. I want to find my wife and all that kind of stuff. Marriage is not a walk in the park. Marriage forces you to change because you're dealing with somebody else that's totally different. That's the one thing I learned in marriage counseling. Men and women are different. And that's okay. I'm the way I am. My wife is the way she is. But in order for this thing to work, we have to find a middle ground. I found out how selfish I was when I got married. You just be thinking, oh, you like the idea of everybody having a picture of they boo and they bae and everybody's supposed to be all happy and all this kind of stuff. That's not marriage every day. You find out a lot about yourself when you get married. Sometimes it's real ugly, but it forces you to work on changing yourself to make sure your marriage lasts. You can't get, if you are selfish, and you just used, to, we are naturally selfish by, by birth. But when you get into a marriage, not a relationship, dating is easy to get in and get out of. When you're in a marriage, you really want to work, you learn how to change and bend and sacrifice and do all that kind of stuff. I learned a lot about myself when I got married. I learned a lot about myself when we was dating. But dating don't stop thinking dating is the end game. When you get married and you're trying to make it like really work, you actually have to put forth effort. Don't just get in this thing and think, oh, I'm just do what I want to do. Because that's what I was doing in relationships. I was just, you know, in that thing, just doing what I want to do. And people was just like, if you really want to get married, it's going to be work. When people say it's work, you really just think, ah, you know, it is what it is. No, this junk is work. If my wife ain't happy and that, 
for the door. If that woman in the other room ain't happy, guess what? I'm the man that's got to lay next to her at night. And if she ain't happy, then y'all messing with my time. Y'all messing with my house. Y'all messing with the spirit. Y'all messing with it's bigger than just her not being happy. If I'm not happy, then she's, you know, she's not happy. It's just this back and forth thing where, you know, you got to make sure your spouse is happy because if they not, you'll see a big shift in your household. And not a positive shift. It's just going to be some tension in that mug. You got to learn how to bend and, and where to sacrifice because it's not going to always be about you. Stop getting so distracted with all these people and these relationship goals and all that crap on social media. Stop. This is another thing. When you get married, stop trying to make your relationship like somebody else's. That's not you. That's not your marriage. That's, like I said in my other few, a few videos ago, stop trying to focus on somebody's one chapter out of somebody's story. Because you don't know the whole story. If God told you your spouse is going to cheat on you, they're going to have a baby with you, but this is your soulmate, would you still want to get married to that person? No. But if God told you that's what this person's story is, they cheated, they got married, but they had to go through counseling and all that kind of stuff, but you still want to look after, oh, I see these pictures and everybody else, I want to get married. That's not what marriage is always like. And I'm going to wrap this video up. And all I'm going to say is you see what Will and Jada we on the outside looking in. You think that's what marriage is really supposed to be like? Everybody talking about, oh, I want that Will and that Jada love. They got all kind of stuff going on. Talking about open marriages and entanglements and um, swing. They got all kind of stuff going on. But you don't know what they got going on in their marriage. They doing whatever works for their partnership or marriage or whatever the case may be. But you can't do what somebody else do. You got to do what works for you and your marriage. If you want to be successful. All right. This has been your man T. Bell. This has been a longer video than I anticipated. But if you want to get married, let me let you know right now. It's not easy. It's not an overnight thing. That's going to come together. I've only been married three years and I'm still working on it. I'm still working on getting better. I'm still working on myself because joy ain't responsible for my happiness. I am. That's why I have to learn how to change and I learn have to learn how to be better husband. I can't worry about what she's doing. How I'm going to worry about what she's doing. I ain't doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Do what you're supposed to do if you want to get married. Stop getting distracted by what's on social media and learn to actually work towards a happy marriage. All right? Till next time, this is Bingham Man T. Bell, and I'm out.